I wanted to earn some extra spending money so I could go out and have fun more often. So I looked around on Facebook Marketplace for odd jobs in my neighborhood. Back when you could still post jobs on Facebook after mowing a few lawns. I wanted to do something less strenuous, and that's when I found an opportunity to dog sit for a guy for just a single night and make $50. I contacted the man for the details. Then a few days later, when he said he needed to go out of town overnight. I met him at the house. It was an older house, probably built in. The lawn was overgrown and the paint was chipping, but other than that, it didn't look like it was about to fall apart or anything. When I met the man at the door, I was taken aback by how tall he was. Probably six. Six? Where I only stand about 510. He looked like he was built in the 70s too, with long, greasy gray hair and a skunky smell to him, but pretty chill overall. He introduced me to his dogs, two rambunctious Rottweiler sisters. He warned me that his dogs would probably go a little crazy for missing him, but he just wanted me to make sure they didn't tear the house up. All I had to do was leave food and water out for them and let them out into the backyard every few hours. Other than that, I could make myself at home. After only talking for a few minutes, the owner left immediately. I started getting comfortable and looking around the house. It was kind of a mess. The man clearly lived alone and had stopped caring a long time ago. He probably inherited the house from his parents and had just never moved. I decided I would just spend the night on the couch, and I started to burn away the hours watching TV. The dogs never seemed like they fully trusted me, but they weren't aggressive either just unsure and distant. I was glad they weren't mean, because I honestly didn't think I could control two fully grown Rottweilers if I had to. However, a few hours into the night, their demeanor changed. They never settled into bed, and as the minutes passed, they were growing more and more restless. I got up to let them out into the backyard, but strangely, as I stood from the couch, they rushed over to the front door instead. I was confused by this, as their owner said, he never walked them, so why did they want to go to the front door? They were whining and couldn't sit still, wagging their tails like they expected somebody to open it and come through. When that thought crossed my mind, I felt a little chill. I was suddenly alert. I slowly walked up to the door and checked through the peephole breathing a sigh of relief when I didn't see anyone. I teased the dogs for being silly, and I called them to go outside in the backyard. I opened the sliding glass door and called them again until they reluctantly sauntered off into the yard. I washed them for a moment before closing the door to leave them out there for a few minutes while I went to the bathroom myself. This bathroom had a small window facing the backyard with that kind of glass that's frosted so you can't see through it clearly, but there was still some light coming through the motion-activated lights outside. I was standing in front of the toilet, looking off into no particular direction, when I saw a shadow walk across the window. It startled me so bad that I flinched and got pissed all over the toilet seat. I finished up early and I left the mess for a moment, knowing I needed to check that out. I wasn't sure that it was a person, but it kind of looked like one, this being the second weird thing to have happened. Within a few minutes, I preemptively dialed 911 as I walked back to the sliding glass door and looked into the yard, trying to see if there was anybody snooping around without opening the door. There weren't any trees outside that bathroom window, and it was too tall for it to have been a dog so my suspicions seemed to be snowballing into a worst-case scenario coming true. I let the call to 911 go through, and I quietly told them what was going on. I'm alone in an unfamiliar house, dog sitting, and I think somebody is trying to break into the house because they think nobody is home. I then had enough time to wish for the address to them before I heard a noise